MustangMedic.com. You see everything from day one to day sold. Thanks for watching. We work on, buy, sell, restore, and most of all, Mustang love Medic. your Mustang. MustangMedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. The 1971 Mustang Fastback Restoration Project. What? What am I doing? Working on Mustangs, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, I do everything on video. We've got about 1,400 videos online, and you can watch the work that we do. We take everybody through each car as a project car, so they're all interlock interlinked videos. You guys gave you the card, didn't they? Yeah, you've got to check it out on YouTube. So, anyway, this is my neighbor right here. Pe oh, Pep. There he is, Pep Pool Service. What's up, man? Some Somebody was like talking about Pep recently, and I'm like, I know Pep. I know Pep from somewhere. He's our neighbor. And he, he uh, supplies pool chemicals. He supplies pool chemicals for uh, um, all kinds of pools in Palm Springs area. And he's obviously doing something right because he's always got trucks going in and out of here. So yeah. if you guys need chemicals and you're in the Palm Springs area, Cathedral City, what is the other one? What are, what are our local towns? Palm Desert. Palm Desert. You need chemicals, come out here to Pep. Come by, say hi to us, and go get chemicals from Pep. All right? All right. Boom. There it is. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. 71 updates. So what we've got going is we are we got the parts delivered on the um, on the uh, front end, and here they are. There it is. We got upper ball joints, and these are really nice ones, and they are set up with a grease fitting, which is key. These are pretty high end. We're not messing around anymore with our our, our ball joints. We're getting, we're going high end, and these are also very nice, uh, locked in. Um, brand new spring purchase. I'm just changing them out. I'm not messing around. This is a, this is this is a this is our flagship project. I'm just gonna have Nick change them. We're changing the ball joints. We're changing the spring purchase. We're just gonna get it done on the 71. So all right. So now that's been the update. On the quick update on the 71. Drover squeaking. You know what's going on. Now we're moving on to the to kick it over the 64 and a half. All right. Uh, back on the 71, I don't know if this is part 2, part 3, part 66, I don't know. But uh, here, look at this Gano filter. I was actually quite shocked when I looked at it. Go ahead, Nick, pull it. And look at the amount of junk in this Gano filter. This engine was just rebuilt and cleaned so, out. The background of that. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if you guys can get a perspective. Let me try to get it oh, focused, yeah. yeah. It yeah, is, yeah. It, hang on a second. It is full of crap. This is why you want these on your car. I mean, I would have never guessed that this junk would be in here because it just rebuilt the motor. But it is. And the Gano filter caught it all before it went into that gorgeous um, uh, Matson's custom radiator. So we see we saved getting crap inside that very expensive radiator going back through the engine and got it into this Gano filter. So we're going to clean this out now. And then uh, we are going to uh, put her parker back away. Nick's going to uh, take the front end up off the ground because we're waiting. We're waiting possibly on parts for that Cobra, and we are going to change out the um, upper ball joints and also the um, spring purchase that we just got in, and see if that stops it. But what we are going to do, Nick, first is we're going to loosen up these right here and let and try to bounce it. Uh, that means we got to take all that bracketing off. Gosh darn it! You have to. It's just to hold it up. Yeah, but you got to you got to have to loosen those. You're gonna have to loosen those bolts. I want to take this off. Do that again. Now, she, like now she's not squeaking as much. Car's driving me crazy right now. Now we'll make a decision on this if we get it in the garage. Into the, into the, into the, uh, Mustang medic. Compound. We had compound. <laughs> <laughs> we have not figured out a name for our, our shop yet. Right now it's Mustang Medic Shop because we can't think of anything else. All right, that's what's going on. Cleaning out the Gano filter. Highly recommend. All right, so here it is. I wanted you guys to see the content of this Gano filter. 
Actually, Nick spotted something in here. We already can see some a little bit of extra gasket in there from the rebuild on the motor got caught in there too, which is interesting. And there's the screen, and it's one piece, so we're gonna have to wash it out from behind, I guess. But look, there's there's look at this stuff, guys. Am I glad that this is not in my uh, in my radiator? Looks like seeds and brush. I know this stuff came out of this engine. I mean, this is like kind of shocking. Rebuilt motor. So, and there's some gasket in there. So, you know, thank God we have it. All right, I'm going to hose it out and I'm going to put it back on. <laughs> we should do, you know, we should do a video of, we should do a video of Carlos noises. I mean, he makes so many noises every day. Just simply doing the noises, Carlos grunts video would be hilarious I think <laughs> know what he was doing guys Carlos was crushing garlic for his sister my wife and I heard him over there and I went over to check to see what was he, he, he must have been muscling something he was like, I looked over and he was squeezing garlic grunting like he's pulling on a lug nut or something and then I was like, aha! And I said, I'm going to put it on video. He goes, no, 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 no. I was like, I'm, going to, I'm, I'm giving you up. Man. You're grunting for nothing, man. All those muscles. So, I won't put it on video, though. Oh, wait, I think I just did, didn't I? All right. Um, here is uh, the screws going back on to the Gano filter. My shaking because I'm caffeinated. I need to get a coffee maker. Uh, I'm sick of buying McDonald's coffee. I gotta say though, they do put a heck of a lot of caffeine in those coffees though. They get you running. All right. Gain filter, going back in. Mustangmedic.com. Please look for the link in the description below for the next in our series. If it's not there, come back soon. Mustangmedic.com. We take the frustration out of restoration. MustangMedic.com